This model plane review and unboxing is brought to you by the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation Channel, along with FlightSimGlobal.com, the world of FlightSim on one site. To visit the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation Channel, please click the right side of the screen. To visit the FlightSim Global YouTube channel, click the left side of the screen. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation Channel, or FlightSimGlobal.com depending on which YouTube channel you're viewing this video on. Today I have another unboxing video of a Gemini Jets model. This is a limited edition 1400 scale Delta Airlines Boeing 737-200. I got this model on eBay from CTPTKA2002 for $15 plus $12 shipping and handling. I'll put a link to that in the description. So let's begin. I put I put my camera on a tripod this time just so I can actually open the box on camera. I've gotten yelled at before for not having a model actually t being taken out of the box on camera. And yeah, Just the model, all the different all the information specifications. The box has slight wear and tear, not too bad though, just like shelf wear, and a little bit of a rip in the plastic up here, but that doesn't really bother me too much, the model's still intact, and that's what really matters to me, even though having a pristine box may be nice. off to the side, and here is the model. Let me adjust the camera now. Turn on manual focus so I can get this correct. Okay, that's too far zoomed in. There we go. Uh, registration of this model is November 323 Delta Lima. The construction number of the plane modeled is 23095, line number 1027, first flight date May 14th, 1984, delivery date June 6th, 1984. As I said earlier, it's of a Boeing 737-200. 737 200 has a uh, one of my favorite aircraft. A nice classic airliner along with the 727. There will be 727 models in the future, so look forward to that. And now I'm going to temporarily stop the video, take the camera off the tripod, and get really close to the model so you can see just how much detail. Gemini Jets put into it like they do with all their models. And right now you can see just how much detail there is. It always amazes me of how much they pack into such a small plane. It's one of the reasons why I stick with Gemini Jets. Although I'm not saying anything about the quality of other manufacturers, I've never had any others. I just like what Gemini Jets puts out and continue to be a loyal customer. The bottom is 
like a stainless steel looking finish. Very nice. Sorry, my hand isn't the steadiest. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment on what you think, maybe a suggestion for a future model, maybe something different you'd like to see in the video. Quality wise, I mean, like how I present everything. Or just to let me know that you like the video. Speaking of which, also like or dislike the video, depending on which ones uh, you decide. And subscribe to both the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation channel and FlightSimGlobal.com. Links to the other are in the description for depending on which channel you are viewing this on. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.